Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna watch a video from Blue Jay. It's a new channel that I haven't seen yet. And this video is about history's worst Olympic marathon in a nutshell. It's gonna be very interesting. Uh, original videos down below. And write in the comments what series could be non-historical or it could be historical series or videos that you want me to watch. Let's get into this. With roots spanning 2,800 years to ancient Greece, the Olympics have become the pinnacle of athletic achievement, with the awarding of a gold medal being seen as internationally equivalent to winning a Nobel Prize, Pulitzer Prize, or my yep. parents' approval. Well, the world's best from all walks of life meet to prove their excellence in humanity's greatest city. That is true. Athens, Athens Paris, Paris. yeah. St. Louis, Saint Louis yeah, Missouri. The third Olympic Games and America's oh. first outing as host took place in St. Louis in 1904. Oh, 1904. The century St. Louis doesn't quite have the sex appeal of Athens or Paris. I mean, if that's a true depiction of what St. Louis looked like in 1904, then compared to the other cities, yeah, it's not a much of a, a very. It's not very appe appealing to go there, right? I mean, look at Athens. Look at that. Paris, look at the amazing. I don't. I mean, that's not the entire St. Louis, but I mean, you know. All right. So how does one spice it up a bit? Yeah. That's right. Rat poison, what? brandy, and human experimentation. Uh, what? Human experiment. Rat poison. I can understand. What? Uh. Originally, the 1904 games were to be held in Chicago. But that same okay. year, the World's Fair was celebrating the centennial. Oh, World's Fair art. Just in St. Louis. What would be the world's largest fair today had fascinating yeah. exhibits like the first ever X-ray machine, wow. radio phone, wow. and all your favorite different looking people on display. Oh. Remember, kids, you can't have a fair without a healthy dose of racial superiority. What? Whoa. Look how amazing that, that middle one is. Thrown with that spear. Wow. Amazing. I mean, yeah, different times. Even with indigenous mud throwing but that's... contests being the crowd drawers they are, they didn't want to have to compete for spectators. So they threatened to overshadow the Olympics with their own sporting events and successfully moved the Olympics what? to St. Louis. The first debacle in the clusterfuck that was yeah. the 1904 Olympics was the issue of location. With them lazy right boys not having double decker boys oh, and right. sevens out yet, for four and Wait, is that the right brothers? Whoa. Is it? Is that the right brothers? No. If it is them, let me know. But I mean, that looks that, that's a cool picture of them, right? I mean, it would make sense that they're on picture, but okay. Lazy right boys not having double decker boys. Yeah, exactly. How lazy of them. Foreign athletes getting the St. Louis involved a lengthy boat yeah. trip followed by a thousand miles of yeah. ride. Combined with the fact that the Russians and Japanese yeah. were having a disagreement at the time, a measly 12 nations showed up with only 62 of the 650 Yikes. athletes hailing from outside of North America. But the eye of the storm centered on the iconic marathon event. Okay. The 1904 Olympic marathon oh. was more freak show than showpiece. Ironically, more fitting for the fair-like atmosphere than a prestigious sporting event. Uh. Instead of the typical morning start time, this one was held in the afternoon, oh. where temperatures uh -oh. soared to 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my. Humidity in the 90s. Uh, this means the race took place with a heat index of a scorching 130. Oh my! Fahrenheit. For context, ideal marathon yeah, half are around that. 41 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like replacing your CPU cooler with a tungsten arc welding torch. Yeah. Only 32 runners from four nations participated Yikes. in the race. A few were experienced runners, having won or placed in okay. these marathons, but the majority Amateurs. were misfits. Yeah. Of these misfits, we have two South African Suwana tribesmen visiting St. Okay. Louis for a certain World's Fair exhibit, uh -huh. who ran the race barefoot. Ten oh. Greeks who had never run a marathon a day in their <laughs> Ten lives. Ten Greeks. And Cuban national Felix Carbajal, a former mailman who demonstrated <laughs> his running skills throughout Cuba to raise money. Ah. He was even reported to have ran the entire span of the island. That's pretty cool. Once he raised enough, he bought passage to the U.S. Huh. and arrived in New Orleans. Hmm, what's this quaint That's little contest? Cool. Dice, one in. Oh, hmm, <laughs> well, I, I suppose I could spare a dollar or two. Uh, uh oh, uh-oh. 
That means Los Dados. Upon arrival, uh -oh. Felix lost all of his money on a game of dice. Of course. He hitchhike and walk his remaining journey to Oh. Felix approached the starting line in a long sleeve shirt, oh, no. long dark pants, oh, no. street shoes, and naturally, a beret. Yeah. Hey, when you're five feet tall and amongst marathoners and all their short shorts, thigh, glistening glory, you have to stand out somehow. Sure. A fellow Olympian felt that and offered him scissors to cut his pants, making him some improvised shorts I mean... that would bring a smile to any redneck's face. Mm -hmm. The starting okay. pistol was fired, and the runners embarked on a course that one official called, quote, the most difficult a human being was ever asked to run. Yeah. Over. The track consisted entirely of dirt roads I and mean... fractured stone, providing difficult footing, with seven hills ranging from 100 to 300 oh, verticals and long ascents. Running on public roads also made the race somewhat of a game of Frogger, with runners having to dodge trains, wagons, okay. streetcars, and dogwalkers. Not even the air was safe, with cars driving alongside the runners, kicking up dust for them to inhale. Uphill running, dusty mouth, scorching heat. I could really go for some water. What? Water? What are you, a pussy? Meet oh. James Sullivan, okay. chief organizer of the Olympic Games. One day, James pondered a question we all have from time to time. Hmm, what would happen if I forcibly dehydrated someone? To study the effects what? of purposeful dehydration, James uh. decided to kill two birds with one stone, planning a marathon with only a single water station on the course. A dirty well. Ah, uh, sure. 11 miles in. I gave you dysentery. Uh. At the start okay. of the race, Fred Lorse took the lead, with Thomas Hicks passing him Ooh. shortly after. One of the barefoot South Africans was just a mile off course by wild dogs. Uh, what? Vomiting profusely and gave up. William Garcia was found collapsing on the brink of death um, after coughing up blood in the middle of the track, hemorrhaging with a ripped stomach lining and dust-lined esophagus. What is this? Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Felix was actually making good time, despite pausing to talk to every spectator along the track. <laughs> what? During the race, Felix casually remembered he hadn't eaten in the past oh. 40 hours. He then saw people in a car with some peaches and asked for one, to which they said no. Huh? Hey, the fuck! <laughs> Later on in the race, he stumbled upon an orchard and ate some oh, okay, apples, right. which then turned out to be rotten. Yep. He then started cramping and vomiting, yep. so he decided to lay down and take a nap. Despite all odds and what? setbacks, Felix would actually finish What is this? Is this the Olympics? Nine miles in, Fred Lors called it quits after cramping up, hitching a ride to the finish line and waving at bystanders and runners as he passed. Thomas Hicks started to show signs of extreme exhaustion ten miles in and begged his coach for water. But his coach, believing the only people who ever needed water were Aquaman and pussies, settled for sponging his mouth out with some warm distilled water. Hicks really started to break down seven miles from the finish, which is where Dr. Charles Lucas sprung into action, giving him a mixture of strychnine and egg whites. Oh some my. Some call it a performance enhancer, some call it rat poison. Yeah. I say it's 1904, so what's up? Oh, it's the same thing. Keep in mind, early 20th century doctors were little more than licensed murderers. The car Fred Loris was sure. hitching broke down 19 miles uh. away. Having recovered from his cramps, he decided to pull a sneaky and rejoin oh. the race, passing doped up Hicks and later the finish line in first place. No way, wow! The stadium didn't know about Fred's disqualification, so they hailed him as the sure. winner, and Fred played along. It even went so far that Teddy Roosevelt's daughter, Alice oh, Roosevelt, no. took a picture with him and placed a reef over his head. She was lowering the gold medal over his oh. neck when a spectator stepped in. Hey, um, yeah, that guy was disqualified. Uh, uh, uh. fucking Okay, so oh, I may okay. have made that part up. I have an imagination. Sue me. The cheers turned to booze as Fred tried to play it off as a joke. Claiming sure. he never intended to go through with it. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. Hicks, who had lost motivation when Fred passed him, painfully picked up his pace after hearing of his disqualification. However, yeah. recently poisoned Hicks started to turn gray. Yeah. So they dosed him again with oh, my. whites. So you know how when you're watching the Olympics and think to yourself, these sports have a serious lack of alcoholism. Well, Hicks team thought so too. Yeah. So they washed uh, the lethal drug no. with some brain. Oh my! Why drink water when you can have ethanol. <laughs> Hicks started running mechanically, like a well-oiled machine. His face Is sunk, he? His eyes grew dim. His palms are sweaty. Yeah. Knees weak. Arms, arms are heavy. Yeah. Twenty miles in, Hicks started hallucinating, firmly believing he had another twenty miles to go. He begged his team for something to eat, but they just gave him more brandy instead. Poisoned and shit-faced. <laughs> Just like my 2am Taco Bell runs, what? Thomas Hicks swinged and shuffled his way over the final stretch, with his trainers carrying him across the finish line, where he received the gold medal. Only 14 of the original 32 runners finished the oh race, my. the worst finish yeah, in even. Olympic history. Here's a graph of gold medal marathon times throughout history. And here's Hicks' time, a full 29 minutes and <coughs> 8 seconds slower than the second longest winning time in um. history. In almost 45 minutes longer than the slowest finisher in the 2016 Olympic uh, marathon. It took one hour wow. and four doctors for Hicks to feel well enough to just even leave the stadium, having lost eight oh pounds my. over the course of the race. Eight 
So if Hound. someone's experiment taught us anything, it's one hell of a weight loss program. Is it though? So, in conclusion, while the 1904 what? Olympic Marathon featured the first two black Olympic athletes and a Blue Jay approved amount of alcohol, sure. it also resulted in multiple near fatalities yeah. that resembled less of an expertly organized event and more of an Ed Ed and Eddie scheme. Two out of ten stars. What? That, that's too fast for my brain to comprehend. What? How? How did no one see that they were <laughs> feeding him alcohol rat poison? What? Who organized this? What? This was an Olympic Games? Or marathon, right? What? That's too... No, what I ha I ha after this video I'm going to watch or look at the picture with the the guy who cheated right who took the car with the daughter of Roosevelt Theodore Roosevelt I'm gonna I need to see that picture right I I might put it on screen but like wow that just some obscure part of history that we that probably no one knows about other than people who were there right uh, all right anyway i'll see you in the next video bye